Hi everyone, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal here on December 15, 2015 with my Dollar Tree haul. I went there today um, just to look around really and I saw some really adorable Christmas items. Unfortunately, I didn't need any, but if I did, I would have been in there for hours because they just had some really cute stuff for just so cheap. It's unbelievable. Um, they had like plastic tubes of nice Christmas ornaments, the balls and everything to put on your Christmas tree, which, you know, you pay six, seven, fourteen dollars depending on which ones you get, like at Target and stuff like that. They had like a big tube of them, which was a dollar. Just amazing. But anyways, I had to refrain from buying any of it because my husband would have killed me because we have so many decorations now. But um, I did pick up a couple of items that I wanted to go over with you guys to share with you. Um, to start with, I got these really nice buff puffs that are two-tone, actually three. They, like this one is hot pink, baby pink, and then white, and this one is... Uh, like a royal blue, a baby blue, and a kind of like a really light blue. Maybe that'd be blue and then baby blue. But I got one for my husband and one for myself. I'm sure you can tell which one will be for which. And these are really thick too. Not the flimsy ones. I was really surprised they were a dollar. But I'm going to try it out and see how I like them. If I like them, I'm going to go and get some more because I had a huge container full of them. I have been getting a bunch of them free with coupons and I think we're almost done with them. So I'm going to go back if these are really nice. But it says sponge or mesh sponge April, April bath and shower. And on the back it says replace every 30 days which I feel really bad because I don't change mine every 30 days so kind of makes me feel bad maybe I should be but anyways if you watched my haul recently that I did with um, Miss Shop Miss A I bought some nail art pens and some nail polish and stuff and I have not tried them yet but I know I had seen this there also and this is the nail art pen and this has um, the polish and the decorative beads or t what is this this is this one is like little I don't know if it's just round or it's hard to, or if it's diamond it kind of shows diamond shape on the picture so it might be diamond shape but it's a pretty blue. I love royal blue. Um, I have a nail polish that is called Aruba Blue, which is beautiful. And I used to wear that on my toes. Every time I got a pedicure done, I would do the Aruba Blue. But anyways, I thought I would try this because I wanted to try theirs. And I didn't order it because I really wasn't sure how it worked. But I, mean, I saw it there and they had different designs. So I'm going to try it. And there it shows how the pin comes apart. So we'll see. And it says it has a wild berry scent. So we'll see how that smells. And then I got some milk chocolate. Just my luck, I get behind a lady who has a big pile of candy and pretzels and everything that she's buying for her grandchildren. And I saw these and I love these. And I bought these at Publix a while back. I got them really cheap. Or free I don't remember with coupons but they're they're not cheap I think I got them really cheap with coupons and stuff like that but they're normally not this is a four ounce I think I paid five dollars for each one before my coupons and stuff and these are the milk chocolate flips and they have the pretzels with chocolate on them so I got two of the milk chocolate and then my husband got well, actually, I had him go get them while I stood in line, and he also got a white fudge one. So these are really good. Put them in the refrigerator, let them get cold, and they're very tasty. And then I know everybody does the makeup blender, and I heard it's like $30. Well, I don't wear a lot of makeup, so for me to spend $30 on a makeup blender just doesn't make sense for me. So I saw this there. It probably won't last that long. It was only a dollar, but it was a beauty blender. Cute little purple one. I 
pick that. It's nice and soft because I know I saw some people said they were hard that they had purchased from different places. This is very soft and squishy. So I'm going to try this one for a dollar. I'll try it and who knows if I if I find that the beauty blender really works for me maybe I'll splurge and spend the $30 but for right now it's not worth it for me. So I'm going to try the dollar one. And then I bought these containers. Adorable. I have, actually I have orange ones, but they're, now that I see them, let me see here. I have bought these orange ones, and actually I have to admit I thought they were the same size, and now I see that they're not. So I might go back and exchange those. But these, I throw in all my freebies. I separate them from food items to um, pet stuff to medicine to everyday stuff, just shampoo, stuff like that. I separate them all. So that's what I wanted to use these for. But I think since these are the small, I'm going to exchange them for something bigger if I can. And see if they say a size on here. They don't say a size, but you can tell the difference. And I got these at the Dollar Tree also for a dollar, and these are a dollar. So obviously I will be exchanging these. But I picked these up because I just love the color. So I bought four of these. I bought four of them. So these are nice. As you can see behind me, I have a very large stockpile. And someday I'm gonna do a video on it. Um, I did one many years ago and um, some people weren't so nice on their comments um, saying, you know, like I was hoarding and stuff like that, but stuff that I don't use, um, I do, you know, share, I do donate and stuff. So I, the stuff that you see behind me is stuff that we're always going to use, like bath soap, body wash, stuff like that doesn't go out, um, doesn't expire, so you're fine. Toothpaste does, so at one time I had over 100 tubes of toothpaste and I did share them with some people, but a lot of the stuff you'll see will not expire. So I do keep the stuff that we use that I get for free or almost free with couponing. So these little containers are great for that. Sorry, we kind of went off track talking about my stockpile. That's why I need to do a separate video on that because I could talk for hours about it and it, try to explain to people because some people just don't get it. They wonder why you even people do stockpiles. But when you get a stockpile, you will understand how great they are when you can come to your stockpile and get an item instead of having to run to the store. And this isn't even everything. My stockpile goes from that wall to that wall and then I had to buy another rack and put it here. And I also have a big rack like that in my garage that just has laundry detergent and stuff like that in it. So I have have a lot of stockpile so these containers here are very nice to put you know stuff in to stack them in because once again sorry when I show a video that you'll see a lot of the stuff I have st stacked in there but some of the stuff will fall and you know those are big heavy shelves so if it falls behind there it's really a pain to get to so I started getting these so I could put stuff in and I also started saving like my boxes from Amazon or whatever whatever boxes I got started cutting them down and using them to put, put stuff in it makes it real handy you can also just slide it out from your pile so the, so if you have a stockpile go to the Dollar Tree and get some containers they have all different sizes um, these just caught my eye because they were pink so anyways oh one more thing okay these my husband I know thinks I'm crazy and if you watch my videos at all you've had to see pictures of my labs I have a chocolate lab and a black lab and they are big boys and I've never well I my black lab I've had him he's seven years old so I've had him for um, over seven years or because he's going to be eight in April. So I've had him since he was nine weeks old. So he, 
I've never had luck with dressing my dogs up. None of them really wanted to buy hats or anything. With puppies, I would take them to like PetSmart and put like the Harley hat on them and they just weren't having it. So I've never been that lucky one that could walk around with their dogs. I've even bought goggles. I bought, I bought, it. <laughs> this is how bad. One year I bought a pair of sunglasses for my dogs that look actually like Oakley sunglasses. They weren't having it. As soon as they put it on, they would take them off. So I told my husband um, I wanted to get a picture of both of them. Now, my chocolate lab, um, we got him at four months old from someone, um, a friend uh, that my husband works with. His daughter had got him from a breeder and could no longer care for him because she's in college, and she gave him to us, and he's been a great addition. He's two years old now, and he turned two last September, and so I haven't really tried hats on him, but I think that he's probably going to be somewhat like um, Duke is. Tyson's not going to go for it either, but this was a two-pack for a dollar, so for two dollar or for a dollar, I'll chance it, and... I take them apart. I have to cut out a little plastic thing, so I can't really take them apart. But the green one here has these feathers, the the green ears, but the red ears do not have a feather. So if you see the, the red antlers, they have the green band, and then the green antlers have the red band with the feathers on them, which are flying everywhere. But it was two for a dollar. So for 50 cents each, I'm going to try it. And hopefully they'll keep it on long enough for me to take a cute picture of them. And then they can destroy them or do whatever they want with them. I'm just hoping that this stretches enough. My husband thinks they will, but I don't want to poke them in the head. But hopefully it stretches enough to fit over their big heads because they're both over 100 pounds. So if I get a picture, maybe I will post it in one of my videos to show you guys. So that was all that I got. And let's see, I spent $12. Everything was a dollar, so it was $12. And um, that was it. So that was a nice little visit. Like I said, if you're looking for cheap Christmas stuff that really looks nice, I mean, a lot of their stuff did not look cheap. It's only a dollar. But if you had some of the ornaments hanging on the tree, no one would have thought that you paid a dollar for a container of ornaments. Or they had like, they had a lot of stuff with glitter on it. I'm not too keen on all the glitter because I hate when it gets all over everything. But if you are, they had a lot of cute items there that had glitter on them. They had a really cute um, gift bags and wrapping paper with Rudolph and everything on it. And I wish I had needed some of that stuff because it was just so cute and I wanted to get some. But... Unfortunately, I don't need any of it, or maybe I should say fortunately, it saved me money, but I didn't need any, so I um, didn't get any of it. But if you're looking for some really cute ornaments for only a buck, head there. And I read to say, you might have heard, these have little bells on them. Isn't that cute? So anyways, this was the only Christmas item I got. I wish I could have got more. But anyways, um, that was my small haul from Dollar Tree, and I think I'm going to start checking them out more. But as always, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please click like and subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone.